ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm Odie. And I'm Meepless. And we're set to go, aren't we? Why, yes, dear. We are. <laughs> okay, so, um, we've checked down that path that's on your right. Mm -hmm. um, there's still a path. Uh, yeah, there's a path up and a path down. Which one would you like to go? I forget what is anywhere around here. Which do you suggest, my darling? Um, we could go up, I guess. Okay. That's the area we were when in. When I die, I'll blame you. Not everything is about you, you know. I'm still surprised that at this rate, we still are, like, at a mid-walk and shit. Like, what are you doing? Like, Just checking the room. There's nothing in this room. Just go. Just that way. I thought there wasn't anything we could do over here. No, we completely skipped this area. So we could grab the bonfire, remember? I... So, this whole area still has a boss in it. Oh, fine. Yeah. So, um... Well, I told it to you before, but do you remember what I told you? Look out, these guys, right behind you. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, there's an archer right behind you. Look out, look out, look out. Oh, that guy healed. I would lock off of him and attack the guys behind you. I'm gonna die. Then heal! Okay, uh, get the archer. Don't let him hit you! You can block the shots with your shield! Hit him. Okay. Mm. I'm dead. This... It's, it, we're getting back to it, okay? <sighs> yeah, the first... Episode after a weekend, I always get out of practice. Yeah, I also of course was like in we we. This is a community where like playing for six hours is considered you know minimum. Well, see, uh, as always, <laughs> I um. You don't have enough time. We, we we're on the grind, y'all. We're working class. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> No, I've been reading a lot of depressing working class novels recently, so oh, yes, we're, we are definitely... We're, ta we're talking about that right now? Sure. Do you want no. to talk about my feelings about the native no, son? No, no. We're talking about video games right now. Okay, so how do I take my shit? Is that triangle? What? What are you trying yes, to do? Okay. Yes, that's how you two-hand. But if you want to block those shots, you want to use your shield, but or I you can roll out of the way. But I a lot of good... Uh, good results from just two-handing my weapon all right. last time. All right. If you want to be hyper-offensive, that's fine. I would uh, focus the Yarcher, all right? Yeah, I was thinking that. Focus way. him. Oh, look out! Ugh. Again, he has a faster weapon and shit. Wow, nice one-shot. Well, see, that's why... All right, now look out for this guy. Look. <laughs> Again, you should focus more on... Look out, look out, look out! Woo! Okay, he still hit you. No, you broke his guard. Now... No, heal. Okay, I think you're... Oh yeah, you're out of his range. Okay, hit him. Yeah, perfect. Alright, recover your loss. Recover your shit. Yeah. I keep thinking they aren't actually dead yet. This is because of the ragdolls? Oh, hey, a new shield. You want to check that out? Start. Yeah, Stato. You want to go to the second icon, change equipment, go to the shield icon. Uh, press square so we can look at the, the display of the changes. Okay, so it has lower fire resistance, but higher lightning resistance. It's also more durable, but it's heavier. Mm -hmm. Does that seem interest to you? Um. Uh, both of them still have the 100% physical reduction, and that's all I really care about. Okay. Well, I just hope that they're done. Okay. Um, now, there are two ways we can go here. Yeah. We can go into the church and explore yeah. that... Or we can go back where we came from because we missed a path over there. And we can, that would lead us around the church. I would heal, by the way. Uh, which gives us more time grinding through... What? What well, gives us more time grinding through, bat through demons? Um, you could go either way. It's just up to you. Because we're going to go the um, either path anyway because we need to. Well, what, are there any bosses... In either direction. Uh, it just goes around the church, all right? Uh, if you go around the church, you'll just go through the main entrance. This is just the side entrance. Okay. It's all the same area. All right? What's that in directly straight? What's that? Looks like an open way. Yep. I would be careful, though. I um, am being careful. Whoa, what's over there? Oh, uh, shit. 
spear. And that's not a spear. What are you talking about? I would be careful. Yeah, I'm just looking at the opposite. Okay, wow. Way. Real close up on that axe. You trying to trying to give the audience a shave now? <laughs> uh, so should I take this guy on? Um, I would walk further out. I don't think he'll proc immediately. If I walk over here? Yeah, not. Uh, I would walk out. Uh oh, he's kind of looking at you, but he's not procking yet. So. Um, he's. I bet there's something next to him that you want, though. Yeah, so I should probably fight him. Or you can lead him out. You could lead him out into the outside of the church and have a wider area to fight. But I would want you to at least walk to the center of the room and look on your left. So you can see what's there. Alright, so there's some guy. Oof! Okay, I'm sorry. That was my fault. Run out into the courtyard. Run out into the courtyard and heal. Hold O to run. I am! Okay, good. Good. Uh, lower the... Raise the camera. Don't let him get in you in that corner, alright? Okay, back up, back up. Ugh. Okay. Um. Look out. Um. Kill me. I, I killed you. Yes, I'm a terrible player. I have no idea how to play this game. How did you kill me? Because I was like, I wanted you to see something particular. I didn't think he would proc like that. Yeah. Because yeah. most people just walk up to him and like repair him and kill him instantly. You planned to die. Apparently, it was all your fault. <laughs> How do we go from my f your from, from my fault to your fault? Oh, uh, it's quite simple. Um, um, hey, look over there! Yeah, about that. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. So, here so, we um, are again. Uh-huh, yeah, we're back here. Um, again, uh, focus the archer, then kill the rest. Yeah, yeah. At least you still have your shit. Yeah, it's right there. Look out, look out, look You could've got a backstab on him if you wanted. Don't, don't let them... You might want to focus on just R1s, because they're faster. Alright? Look out. Don't just stand there. I don't! Yes, you did. You stood there and let him hit you. Yes, that's what we did. Yes, you did. That's how it happened. That was what happened there. It's more about learning to dodge and block. All right. Dodge. How do we dodge again? Uh oh. While well, moving, uh, backstep is just as fine too. See, I'm just not. Used you know to why that. it's important to use this dodge? Why? Because unlike shields, you can at least save your stamina and repair and like regen it. And you can miss all that damage because it has invincibility frames, alright? This is one of the most important facets of playing this game. So what's up there? Um, I think that it's some more, like, knights and shit, but there's a path around the church. And we can look at that if we want. Or do you want me to just work on this other guy some more? You can if you want. It's up to you. What's ultimately important is that we at least get all the important items out of this church. He doesn't have any... I thought you said there was something next to him. Yeah, there is something next to him. We, the important thing is to at least, like, get the important items out of this church and beat the boss. So, parry. How would I parry? Uh, you need to get your shield out. Uh, I don't like shields. And then it's L2. Yeah, but the thing about the parry is that you gotta precisely time it. Yeah, that's what I'm great at. Then you might not want to do that. You might just want to focus on being around, like, dodging his swings and hitting him when he's vulnerable. Okay, so I will try and practice some dodging here. Yeah, and he if has really big swings, and he only hits you for half damage each time. So this is a good chance to at least practice. Okay, look out. Dodge. Yeah, see? You missed him. Pick up that item. Firekeeper's soul. We're gonna need that. Look out! Ooh! Look out! Ooh, okay. Um, he's destroying pillars. Dodges, dodges, dodges for days. Alright. Uh, run out to the courtyard to the right. Good. Now heal. Turn around. He's following you. He's right there. I would suggest that you analyze his attack pattern. See where he's open. He uses that big tower shield. He's open right there! Hmm... Look out. Okay, iframes I worked there into your favor. You might want to lock on. Lock on. Oh. 
See, iframes worked. You used your iframes to your advantage. Heal. Okay, you could heal humanity if you want. Um, oh god, oh god. Sorry, that's not what I meant! <laughs> you, you put your weapon away! Oh yeah, you did it! You used your iframes! Put, take out your weapon with the, the right D-pad. The right D-pad? Right D-pad. Uh. Right D-pad. You click right D-pad. <laughs> there you go. Now click down on your D-pad. See, you used your iframes! Click down on the D-pad! Yeah, 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 attack now! Oh, 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 oh. Attack now! While he's open! Damn it! No, 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 no. Click down on the D-pad so you get back to your Estus! Your, this next health hit is gonna kill you! You need to click down on your D-pad so you can get back to your Estus! Here, I'll do it for you! Thank you! All right, now you're back on your Estus. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, this is real bad. He's locked you into here. No, 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 no. Yes, perfect. Hit him. Hit him. Ugh. Break his knees. Back up, back up. Back up. Come on. Lay it down on him. Lay it back up now. Back up now and heal. Wait till he uses attack, then back up. Perfect. Heal. Heal. Okay, he doesn't want to follow you into this room. You're exploiting the AI at this point. He doesn't want to follow me back in here? Yeah, he can't fit or So why he just won't. don't I just use that to go back and forth? Because it's not respectable. <laughs> I and I oh, have... oh, oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Hold on. Let's see if he'll actually come in here. He's coming in. <laughs> He's on low health. Try and hit him. Come on, come on, come on. Break his knees. Yes, you did it! Now that I'm out First of try. Estus. You have three left. <gasps> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh, just a tiny net shard. Um, he actually does drop, like, pieces of his armor and his shield on certain drops. It's okay. Guess what? That guy's not coming back, alright? Oh, good. Yes, he's a unique enemy. Well, for a time. Uh, later on, they do show up again, and they're not gonna... They're gonna respawn. Yeah. Wow. Don't want to burst your bubble, but they're rather unique. Don't worry. So, should I heal and then hit some more of those guys inside the church for souls? Uh, well? Tell you what. Just go straight. Just go straight, alright? Just go straight to those doors I pointed out earlier, alright? Alright? Don't have to heal anymore. We can just go straight through. And I want to show you. you say that. <laughs> I wanted to show you what was on the left. All right. We can take a look at it. They're going to totally attack me. They can't. All right. You're not within their aggro range. Now look to your left. Look at that guy up top. Oh yeah. Do you see him? Who's he? That is a channeler. I'll tell you some other stuff later, but just so you know, he is yeah, going to... Yeah, I got everything up there, right? Yes. Now just go straight to those doors. You see him? Yeah. Why don't we walk uh, into that one? Because if walking through things is a horrible idea. Uh, walk a little farther in, please. Thank you. Is All right. Is it an elevator? Yes, it's an elevator. Uh... Don't worry, girl. Everything's going to be all right. No, because you won't have anything to worry about. Oh, look, there's sunlight. Why is there more sunlight the further down we go? Because, now walk out. Guess what? What? Guess what? Walk out further. Walk out and pass that arch. We're back at Firelink Shrine! It was a shortcut back home. Oh, is this home? Yes, this is Firelink Shrine. You can tell because um, if you go down there, actually... You can tell because this is Firelink Shrine. Because, look on your right. Look on your right. There's that asshole! Uh, talk to him. Oh, hello. Have you changed your mind? Uh, he wants you to join his covenant. Say no. That is a shame. Alright, now let's hit the bonfire. Let's hit the bonfire. Do you remember the, the bonfire at Firelink? It's right down there. Do you remember this place? Yes. This is home. Okay. Oh, thank God we made Should it. Should we rest here? Yes, rest here, please. 
10. Estus, baby! Alright, let's level up. Uh, once. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to level up? <sighs> Should I do dexterity? Uh, if you want. It is looking a tad low. Compared to the rest. I suppose. You can buff that up if you want. We are only ever using the axe right now. Once we find some, you know, better weapons, we can actually use them. Yeah, is there somewhere we can sell and buy stuff? Um, there's Andre who sells some weapons. There's the merchant back in Undead, uh, Berg that sells some stuff. We might want to check with Andre. He has some half-decent stuff. Is this Andre? No, that's the Crestfallen Warrior. Is Andre is back in Undead Parish. We were just there. The blacksmith? Yes, the blacksmith guy. Okay. That I could hear? Uh, yeah, you could hear his hammering while you were at the, uh, bonfire. Yeah, so... Oh, why are you going that way? There's that... You want to go up those stairs. So we can take the shortcut back to Undead Parish. Yep. Isn't that good game design, isn't it? It makes the world feel so connected. Yeah. It's real nice, I like it. Is it here? Yes, it's right there. See, we came to this area once so we could find a stash, but now this area is repurposed into an elevator. Isn't that interesting? Yep. We're going to have to come back here later for some other stuff, just so you know. Will I respawn down there next time I die? Uh, if you, yeah, if every bonfire that you sit at will be the last place that you, uh, that you will, uh, if you die, you'll respawn at. But you, if you sit again at the Undead Parish bonfire, that'll be your place to spawn, all right? stairs there yep we can go up there if we want we could go back to uh the uh the bonfire and talk mm -hmm. to andre for some weapons be careful though i think there's someone up there well no freaking duh yeah there's a guy right there do i want to fight him does he who is he it's a boulder knight how hard is he um do you remember that one knight that parried you and stabbed you in the chest yeah that's the same kind of guy you think I can fight him? Sure, give it a shot. You weren't really given your due. Look out, look out! Okay, yeah. Look out, he... he uh, 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 uh. Oh, you got him! I think you got him while he was in the air, actually. That's nice. I suggest you go back to the bonfire. Okay. Uh, does this lead me to the channeler? Uh, the channeler won't hit you from there. Okay. No, I meant... Uh, oh, that path does lead you to the channeler. It's just, uh, he won't hit you while you're out here. Watch out for the guys out here, too. Oh, yeah. Cause yes, right outside. Fire. Yeah. I forgot. Um, if we don't have enough souls to buy anything, I think we have some souls to pop that we can... Uh... Wow, those guys just let their friend die. That's cold. Well, they are... Well, they are corpses, so... I guess it's not too much of a thing. Again, we're gonna want to go on that path when we come back. Do you like these axe, or do you want something else? The axe has served me well, so it Served far. you well? You might want to keep it in your inventory, just in case. Yep. Mm-hmm. But I'm always open to weapons that do more damage. Mm-hmm. As I said, though, it's I... It's not about the damages. Sometimes it's about the technique, okay? Like, some weapons will hit hard, like, one, do big damage per hit, and then there are some damage, uh, some weapons that will hit really quickly and rack up damage. It's about what you want in uh, your technique, you know? Uh, hit this bonfire. Well, just to be safe. Um, that's the wrong way. You want to go down. Oh, yeah, that's the doorway. But, but, yeah, okay. That leads to a fortress. That's where I thought we were when we headed out the first time. Nope. Nap. All right. There's that dude down there. Yeah, the, the demon, Titanite demon. That you, uh... Oh, I actually do like how he will change, like, sometimes he'll just keep hammering while working, and then they're, oh, this is to improve your weapons, actually. You want to back out? Okay. Uh, go to purchase item. Can I sell stuff? No, not to him. So he sells Titanite shards and arrows. Uh, go to the key items. Yeah, he had, everything's blocked out. You don't have enough cash. Yeah, well, you I was going to gonna want unload this stuff, though. stuff. Um... You're, if we want to unload stuff, we'll have to buy something from the bottomless box from the, uh, from the, uh, fucking, uh, undead merchant in Undeadburg. Okay, then. 
Actually, you can't actually sell stuff in this game. Yeah, but only to a particular person, and it's not really worth it. That's actually kind of the beauty of this game that like it doesn't. It's all all about exclusivity. Lean, okay. lean in, please, so the mic. It's not about like, oh, I have this particular item and you don't have it. I'm so great at this game. No, it's about how like everyone can basically get every item, and and it's not about like you gotta pay to get this kind of shit or something. Like, uh, or you've got to show up on this particular date to pick up this particular code or something. Like, a lot of games So, what do. would you think I should do next? Um... Though we... This could be the end of one episode. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll discuss that off-screen. See you guys next time. Uh -huh.